Joey. Today I'll be showing you guys how to install an engine breathing system by Boost Logic. Uh, shout out to Jose Castillo from Boost Logic for helping me assist put this thing together. And if you guys are considering buying a Boost Logic engine breathing system, I'll show you the beginning and end of how to put it together. So here's the finished product of what that looks like. I got this repowder coated, so that looks awesome. But the engine breathing system is a must have for the Nissan GTRs. Um, I'll go ahead and explain everything from beginning to end on how this installation goes. Uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos to come. Alrighty, so I ordered me a Boost Logic engine breathing system or whole air separator from Boost Logic, but there wasn't really any instructions, so I'm just gonna try to install it as install it like from the other videos that I've been watching. So what I did so far was I used a breaker bar and at the very bottom of that, and see there's like a little square. You're gonna use a ratchet, like put this in there right at the bottom and use a breaker bar and turn it. And I use the Allen key to hold it in place so I can take off the belt so I can access the different dipstick that the Boost Logic breathing, air engine breathing system provides. I'm getting this repowder coated and it's like pink. It doesn't match the rims. So it's like pink and that's like metallic pink or something. Or rose gold. Rose gold is what I'm trying to go for, but that didn't really turn out. This looks like bubble gum. All right, let me take off the the belt and go on from there. All right, the next thing we want to take off, well, after we put that Allen wrench in there to hold it, we can take off the belt. And we got to take off this pulley right here. I use a breaker bar to make it easier because it's tight space. So take that off and we can probably start disconnecting the stock old dipstick. It says get that off. Alrighty, so I'll show you guys where the other dipstick was. It was right there and we're gonna now remove that guy right there. You can see where the dipstick is, the stock one. So we're gonna remove that pulley, set it off to the side and yeah, start separating the stock one. All right, there it is, got it out. That's the second, add another pulley, set that off to the side and then next to the other one. So those ones are, is a 14. This is one I just use, it's the 14 mil. Get those bolts off and now we can go ahead and begin taking off the stock oil dipstick. All right, removed the stock oil dipstick. About to place the new one from Boost Logic. You can just take the gasket from this one and put it on this one. And I think this is like the hardest part about it. This thing was not easy. What I found easier, grab this guy, pliers, pinch it off off the top, pull and wiggle, pull and wiggle, and it popped right off. Don't do it by hand, it's just, it's ridiculous. All right, so having it returned, um, going back into the old dipstick, you have this tiny piece right here, then this ankle knuckle, and this piece that connects to this little other sleeve knuckle thing that flows this way. It attaches to this piece, however you angle it in there, and that piece goes onto the dipstick return. So that's how this is assembled. All right, the Boost Logic engine breather is coming together. So for the bottom part, this is what it looks like put together. So you got all those pieces right there, and I unplugged that cable right there because it kind of prevented me from putting the oil line back into the dipstick so that's the return all these arrows are on the other side but it all flows like down that way all right now the next piece that we're going to put in is this piece that goes into the, the valve cover which is the top part right there so i'm gonna get the the stock hose measure it cut it make sure it fits nice and snug and put this right there so it connects and the bottom part is the turbo inlet we can pretty much just grab the extra hose and then just leave an inch above it hold it over zip tie it and that's good or you can just you know get the, the actual cover for it so so far it's coming together engines looking a little bit better when I put it back all together alrighty 
We just got back from a car cruise. Forgot to make the ending video. But this is what the Boost Logic engine breather looks like finished um, right now. I just have this hose just hanging out right now until I get the three port boost controller that replaces all this other son of this. It's like there's a whole bunch of crap right here. That controller puts everything in the back so it looks cleaner. So I can you can rock without this with this or if you have a carbon fiber upgrade then take manifold later when you get a little bit more cash. But yeah, once I get that, I'll feed this hose through there so it comes up flip that around so that way it looks just a little bit cleaner um going back to down here the you can't really see it too much but the turbo inlet all right like right there and i just got caps from autozone plug them off zip tied it it's good to go same thing repeat on the other side um then you got the valve cover that just goes right into there whoops and it goes right into there then same thing for the other side so it's pretty much symmetrical um yeah so that's what it looks like no complaints it's not leaking fairly easy install no issues um yeah hopefully this video helps you guys whoever bought a boost logic engine breather yeah all right see you